how good was it really not to have a, a midweek game this week so that you know you could all just reset after last weekend? Yeah, yeah, I think we needed a break to be fair. You know, obviously, I think everyone can see the injuries that we've had. Um, I think we just needed a little little break, get a few few lads back and, and the lads who've been playing every week recover as well and you know get ready get ready to go again on Saturday. On reflection what, what do you think was kind of missing from the, the performance at Stoke apart from half of the first team? Uh, yeah it's just uh, just disappointing I think We'd, obviously we only scored one and you know conceded more so it's you know I think it's obvious to see that you know from not winning obviously we're disappointed um, but you know, I don't think we're, we're far away. You know, we're, we're we're still, you know, there's bits of play that we that we're doing, chances that we create are, are brilliant still. But we're just not putting it in the back of the net. And then obviously, you know, we, we we conceded a few. But you know, that's not like us. And I think you know, we can. We've got a chance to put it right. And you know, I think we will. I mean, the fact that you you're still top, having taken obviously one from the last three games, says a lot about the start of the season that that you have made. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, but. You know, like I say, I think for for us now it's about getting back to winning ways. You know, we've got to focus on ourselves again and you know, forget about the table and just, just keep pushing and, and, and winning football matches. Can you quite believe as a squad that the amount of injuries that you've had and, and what you've you suffered so far? Because it is quite remarkable just, just how many players have, have missed so much of the season so far. Yeah, it's been tough. Um but you know, for us, you know, we're not here. And I'm not here, you know, to give any excuses for on our on our behalf or anything, you know. we you know, it gives a lot of us chances then to step up and players to, to, you know, prove themselves and you know, I think it's just how it is, you know, football you can get injuries. We've had quite a lot, obviously as everyone can see, but you know, obviously like I said before, there's no there's no excuses from, from our point. We've got to get on with it and and you know, try and win. How valuable an experience is this already proving for you taking this loan spell at Sheffield United? Yeah, massive. Purely on where we are in the table, you know, we're we're, we're pushing at the at the top of the league. So, you know, every every game is is a valuable experience to me. You know, every training session is. You know, the lads are obviously brilliant. The the more experienced ones help you a lot. You know, the manager and the staff help you. So, you know, every time you get on the pitch, you you're constantly learning. Um, so yeah, I'm obviously really enjoying it. And I mean, for you, this must be like a real treasure trove of knowledge with Stuart McCall on the, the coaching staff and the likes of Berger. I know he's younger in his, his career than <laughs> others, but Norwood and Fleck and just people that have been there and done it and, and things that you can take from them in the position that you play. Yeah, of course. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm very young. You know, I've got a lot to learn and, you know, a lot of these lads have played hundreds of games, which, you know, helps. Um, but yeah, like I say, for, for, for me, I'm obviously wanting to learn and willing to learn and, you know, just trying to put in as many good performances as I can and try and help the team as much as I can and be helped as, as much as I can. So, yeah, I said it before, I'm, honestly, I'm really enjoying it and, you know, I think once we, once we start winning again, I'll be, be even happier. Yeah, absolutely so, I imagine. How good is it to, to share the experience with James McAtee and, and have somebody that, you know, is in a very similar boat to you? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've known I've known Macro a long time. Um, you know, we've, we've we've played together before, and you know, for, for us, it's just about playing and enjoying it and 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 winning. Um, you know, I think we we hold the same values as every other lad in this in the team. Who, you know, we just want to win, and you know, I think we're just all here to help each other and progress and 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 win. So, yeah, for for us, obviously, it's really in, enjoyable, and you know, I think. From, from what you can see, we're both enjoying it, so hopefully we, we continue that way. How much contact do you get from, from Manchester City and, and how regularly do they kind of touch base with you? Yeah, bit, bits and bobs here and there, yeah, but you know, I've always made it clear that while I'm here, you know, I'm a Sheffield United player and I'm focused here and, and wanting to, to win and learn and improve here, so yeah, obviously they have to do the bits where they check up on you and make sure everything's okay and, and whatnot, but other than that, I think they, they know the type of person that I am and, and, and what I'm about, so they kind of lead me to it to, to to sort myself out, basically, yeah. Old head on young shoulders? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, obviously everyone needs help, I need help, so, you know, there's times where I can kind of figure stuff out for myself and there's times where I need bits of help, so, 
you know, I've I've got the support around me, which I'm which I'm fortunate about. And I know you've been at, at Man City for a, a long time. Clearly, the aim I imagine will still be to try and break into that first team. I mean, there can't be many bigger challenges in world football than than doing that. Is that kind of something that you relish and look forward to? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm a I'm a City boy. You know what I mean? So, like for me, there's no nothing better than obviously being able to play for Man City. So, but as I said before, you know, I'm really really happy to be here you know it's it's obviously a massive step in my career at the moment and it's something that I'm enjoying every time I play you know whether it be a Bramall Lane or, or away you know putting on the, the Chef United shirt I enjoy it and you know it's something that I, I relish in itself you know because I want to improve and I want to help and, and and learn here so yeah I'm just enjoying it to be fair and say once we get back to winning ways it would be, be a lot better. In terms of your recent experience at Bramall Lane with the, the England under 21s, you know, how special a night was that, you know, with fellow Sheffield United loanees and players playing on both sides? Yeah, it was nice to be back. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's always different when you play for your country. Um, you know, obviously, the atmosphere wasn't the same, there weren't as many people there, but it was still enjoyable to be back and, you know, have, have the Sheffield United fans that, that came down to watch there. So, yeah, it was a, it was a nice evening. Expecting a tough game this weekend against Blackpool, I imagine. They've had some good results recently. Yeah, I think, to be honest with you, every game's a tough game, you know. But we have to focus on ourselves. If we if we do our things correctly, which maybe, you know, we haven't been doing in recent games, if we get back to, you know, how we've been playing, then, you know, I think that'll take care of itself. So I think it's just about focusing on ourselves and putting in a performance that we know we're, we're capable of. Has that been the message this week? Because clearly, you know, you're still in an excellent position in the league, but trying to get back on track from a, a results perspective as soon as you can will be a big thing. Yeah, yeah, I think there's just been little things, you know, that we that we haven't done as well as maybe we did at the start before the international break. Obviously, me included, you know, mistakes that have happened. And, you know, like I said before, it's it's all learning. You know, so mistakes that we've made now individually and as a team, you know, we, 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 we know. So it's about now doing things right again and getting back to how we were playing before the international break, really, yeah. Uh